Yo, I pitch wisdom for the kids, them. Solid as a prism, keeps a funky rhythm. If I want it, I go and get it. My blood thicker than water, we up like a zip of my jeans. Seems got ashes from the plane. I'm elevating and crashing in the bed, but instead I hit my rooftop and watch the world go penning this shit inside my journal. Look up at the stars as I burn slow. Head to the villa. And welcome back to yet another episode. Today, I'm going to be switching out this shitty exhaust that I have on my 95 Civic. Well, actually, it sounds good, but the condition of it is what's shitty. I went to the emissions in the in the previous video, and it didn't. They couldn't even test it because uh, the the sample the it was so diluted. So there's probably like a bunch of exhaust leaks, and who knows what's going on under there. But yeah, I went on Rock Auto, got myself a stock one. So although the sound will be a lot more tamed, we should hopefully still get some all right sound out of it so let's see what happens so with this exhaust we got everything from the catalytic converter all the way out the back so we got the pipe and then the muffler and gaskets and hardware all in the box what's the scenario kicking mad flavor as for hoes we don't save a dough put them to the side like a page of dough cut them off clean like a tape of dough really think you dream until you wake up though everything is custom if they don't want it then fuck them if they ain't part of the here's the lineup we got Pretty nice exhaust tip there, and then all the rubber hangers, that donut gasket, the hardware, U-bolt here, the muffler, and of course the pipe. And then what the cool thing about Rock Auto is you get like these stickers when you order stuff, and usually they're pretty good about not sending doubles, but we did get them this time. I need to remember to add this into the video to show you guys the collection that I have of all the magnets that I have on my fridge. It's like the whole top half and part of the side is all filled with them. So yeah, some pretty cool ones. I'm still waiting on a Honda one though, man. You know, out of all the magnets that they've sent me, they still haven't sent me a Honda one. I have a an Acura one, an RSX, but yeah, still waiting on a Honda one. And I with the rah rah, hit her and tell her bye bye. Already got my Nala, young Simba in the flesh on the high ride. It's all about the commas and the Dala. Devils wear Prada, it's just another saga. It's just another saga. Mental health check. Wallet on me check. Another day check. We put them in check. Spliffs on me check. We got it on deck. Checks on check. On to the next. Yeah. Mental health check. Wallet on me check. Another day check. We put them in check. Spliffs on me check. We got it on deck. Checks on check. On to the next. Yeah. 84 pull up out the list. I'm gonna have to put the front of the car on jack stands too because I just can't get to that top bolt on the flange, man. And plus, I guess it'll make it easier once I go to install it again, too. So, might as well just do it. Plus, I'm so upstate. You see, it's tatted on my ribs, ribs. Okay, one plus one equals two. You knew that. Got that check, and you dumb ass blew that. You don't have a savings because you don't trust banks. But you can't talk money because your shoebox blank. Empty. Bend on the edge, don't tempt me. I'd rather own less than be renting. Don't tempt me. Got a whole block, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Mental health check. Wallet on me check. Here's reason number one why I'm replacing this. It's literally being held up by a piece of wire, which actually doesn't mean much because then. If that falls, then it just rides on the control arm, which it does, you can see right there. And then it vibrates the hell out of the car. Oh shit. Damn, there was water in there. Some condensation buildup. There's all that water still in there. And look at that too. Letting a bunch of exhaust out probably through there guaranteed. All right, boys, we got the pipe off of the hangers in the middle. See what this looks like. That one's actually not bad. It looks really good. It's just this one that's kind of shitty. I think that's where the hangers for the exhaust went and it just probably broke off. It's weird though that they couldn't test it because usually even with 
a couple exhaust leak, it's usually not a problem. And since we've swapped the engine, I know it's running good because it's giving me about 33 miles a gallon in the city. So I know it has to be running good, but I guess we'll just find out when we put this new one on there and take it to the emissions again. touch yes sir looks a lot cleaner sits right in the middle it looks really good all right boys now time for the cold start <laughs> 